Hello everyone. So in this video, I'm going to show you how you can create multiple operator logins in Biostar 2 so that there will be different different operators who will be responsible for different different tasks. So let's take an example. There is an administrator. Likewise, there will be a monitoring user who will be only responsible for monitoring of this entire system. There will be another user who will be responsible for taking the report only. There will be one, uh, we can say that there will be another operator who will be responsible only for the visitor management. So likewise, we can create several operators in Biostar 2. So currently we are logged in with administrator. Likewise, if we go in the user and you see this administrator. So currently this is, this is the main admin login that we are using it. And if we see the operator level of this user, so it's like it is an administrator. If we go to the setting, then if we go to the accounts, then we can see there are several operators which is already created here. So it's like these are the predefined operators. If we go in the administrator, if we go in the user operator, and uh, even in this, you can see what is the permission, what is allowed and what is denied, whether edit or read permission is given or not. Likewise, if we go in the monitoring operator, so we can see here what is the given permission only to read. Then from this custom level button, we can make a different oper uh, operator based on our need. And on different different menu fields, we can give the permission for like edit, read both or we just want to give the read permission. So accordingly, we can create a custom operator level and uh, we can assign it to any user. So what we are going to do now, we'll just go with this one user, which is like his name is Aman. And what we are going to do, we are going to make him a monitoring operator. What we will do, we will use his name only as a login ID. We will give a password here. So this is here, we will confirm the password and will apply here. So after this is like Aman is the monitoring operator of this Biostar 2. So it's done. Now we can just log out of this system and we'll try to log in with this new login that we have created, which is the name of Aman. We'll put the password here. We'll go to the login. So here if you see, if he goes into the user, or if I just click on any of the user, so as he is the monitoring operator, so he can just view the things. He cannot do any changes, whether in the door or in the access control or in the monitoring, anywhere. So it's like monitoring is just like it's a completely for the monitoring purpose only. So as he is the monitoring operator, so he'll be only view. He can only view the things. He can monitor the things. He cannot add anything as you can see even in this user section we are not getting this add button. So we'll just log out from here. We'll log in with the admin once again. And now what we will do, we will just create one more user and to which we will give like what we can say we will give a, uh, we will make him uh, what we can do. Okay, we'll make him a like administrator. We'll use the same password. So it's like, uh, this is what we can say. If a user who is administrator, so he'll be able to manage entire things. If we log in in the Biostar 2 now with this new Technodi user. So we'll just log in here. And now if you see, he can add users. If you go in the device, he can add search or advanced search. In the access control, you can add doors in access control, monitoring, report, time attendance. As he is the administrator, so it's like he can manage everything. That's it. This is what is all about multiple operator levels or you can say multiple operator logins in Biostar 2. So stay tuned with us. See you in the next video.